identify the instrument shown in the image. When we look into the picture, we can make out that it is a forcep with handle and the working ends, but the working ends are somewhat different. The option says it could be rubber dam forcep or tissue forcep, extraction forcep or artery forcep. From the four given options, we are very familiar with the extraction forcep. So this picture shows the complete set of different extraction forceps with specific working end designs for specific tooth. Therefore, we can easily rule out option 3 on the first go because the given instrument is not an extraction forcep. Now let's look into the other options. The instruments shown here are nothing but the hemostats which is also known as the artery forceps. The one good example is mosquito artery forcep. There are two different designs. One is straight hemostat and the other is curved hemostat. You find a curvature at the working end in case of curved hemostat. Now getting on with the function. So why do we use artery forceps? It is to catch hold of the vessels, blood vessels, arteries and veins in order to arrest the bleeding and to achieve hemostasis. And if you observe the working blade of the instrument, you can find continuous serrations throughout the working end, that is throughout the blade of the instrument, both in straight as well as in the curved hemostats. And these serrations are to make sure that the vessels, the blood vessels do not slip out of the blades. And we crush the blood vessels by locking the handle. So we have a locking handle in artery forceps. Therefore, the serrations will make sure that the vessels don't slip out of the forceps and the locking handle helps to crush the blood vessels, especially in case of very small vessels and therefore it helps us to achieve hemostasis. And now getting on with the next type of forcep, which is nothing but tissue holding forceps. The first picture shows AdSense tissue holding forceps. There are two different types, designs, that is toothed and non-toothed. Toothed is, you have a tooth-like projection at the working end, which is absent in non-toothed AdSense tissue holding forcep. And this forcep is the one which is most commonly used, especially during suturing to hold the tissues. Whereas the second picture shows Alice tissue holding forceps, the working end design is different and it also has the locking handle and if you observe the working end, you can find multiple teeth on the blade of this forcep. Whereas getting on with the third type of forcep that is Babcock's tissue holding forceps, again the blade is different. You can see that it is appearing flat, blunt and it is mainly used to hold any of the delicate tissues such as the cyst lining or the fascia etc. So in such cases in order to hold the delicate structures we use Babcock's tissue holding forceps. There are different types of tissue holding forceps and I have given few important types as examples here how the tissue holding forceps will look like. And the next option is rubber dam forceps and this picture we can correlate with the one that is shown in the question because of the working end. So you can see the different working end design and here you can see this is the handle and here you have a locking device and it is of sliding model okay sliding lock because we can move it or slide it up and down. And as we bring the handles together, it brings the working ends apart. And if you observe the blade, you can see that there are two projections at the working end of the rubber dam forcep. And these projections is inserted into the holes present in the rubber dam clamp. And therefore, rubber dam forceps are used to transfer the clamp to the tooth. That is the most important function of rubber dam forceps and we should also know one another instrument that is the rubber dam punch 
we should never get confused between rubber dam forcep and rubber dam punch so here in case of rubber dam punch you can see that there is a plunger okay there is a pointed plunger and you have a wheel on the other working end and therefore it is used to make the clear cut punch holes in the rubber dam sheet okay so this is how a rubber dam punch will look like and how a rubber dam forcep will look like and you can easily identify a forcep by the working end design you have a sharp you have a projection at the two working ends and you have a locking slide and a handle okay so now getting back to the question so now we can easily make out that the given instrument is nothing but the rubber dam forcep used to transfer the clamp to the tooth therefore out of the four given options the given instrument is nothing but rubber dam forceps therefore the right answer is option 1